Alright, recently I saw a video where someone was challenging themselves to make a normal car. And they put a V6 that revs to 7,000 in it. I was like, yeah, that's enough. I gotta make myself. I gotta show the world what a normal car looks like. Because the automation community has clearly never seen one. Alright, so we're gonna pick an MPV body here. Because normal people, they drive minivans. I'm going to give it a ladder frame. And cheap it out. Let's just galvanize it. Let's galvanize it. Actually, no. Let's, let's save the money. Because that requires an entire factory add-on there. I could do corrosion resistant, but look at how expensive that is. Hell no. This is for normal people. We are going to allow normal people to go to work. Transverse mounted, because that's what normal people drive. Have you ever driven a longitudinal car, actually? Ask yourself that. Sit down and ask yourself that. No, you haven't. Anyway, no, wait, I gotta change it up. I forgot. Gotta make this a monocoque so I can give it McPherson struts. Because look at these shits. Look at how expensive that double wishbone is. That's insane. Look at how much production units that requires. It's so heavy, too. No, no, no. See, that's same goes for a ladder frame. It's a little more expensive. All right, let's also drop it down a quality tier here. And we're gonna give it a solid, no, not coil. Coil springs are too expensive. We're gonna give them leaf springs. And uh, let's do that, because we're a futuristic company here. Come on, come on, guys. All right, we're just gonna call this the K, because that's the entire amount of thought that put it was put into this, right? When uh, when the engineers they said when the engineers were told to make this, we're gonna make cast direct overhead cam aluminum. There we go. Also minus one, minus one that cast cast. We could go hyper eutectic cast, but no, that, that, that may make too much sense. Oh, I forgot to set the displacement of this thing. Look at me going all fucking stock here. All right, 3.44 will be about. Look at me, like, completely revealing that I'm fucking copying the stats from the Chrysler K platform. And I'm copying the Chrysler K fucking series cars, too. Check it out. I'm making a fucking minivan. Do this thing have balanced shafts? I don't think so. Yeah, they did. They actually had balance shafts on these things. Well, let's milk that for all it's worth and make this smooth, because this is a consumer engine, and consumers actually like smooth running engines. Guess what? We're going to get a lot of extra revs out of this, because this is a tiny fucking inline four with a lot of balancing mass, but guess what? We're not going to use it, because normal people don't need that kind of revs. They're not going to use it, VVT. That's fucking space magic. We aren't. What are we, fucking German? AI tune. That's for heathens. We're not going to use that today. All right, 4,800. This, look at this stock set fucking rev limit. That is way too high. There we go. That's what normal people drive at. Turbochargers. Put it in the trash. Nobody uses those. A single point fuel injector because it's the 80s. It's the future. We got to have some technology, but also it's the 80s. So we're using fucking regular. We're going to make this manifold as big as possible because I still don't think that's going to be big enough. Um, we're going to give it cast mid. I, I like I like having better headers. Trust me, tuning with this these two is hell. Never use these two, ever. If you're playing this game, never use these two. All right, and also it's the 80s, so we're going to use a two-way cat. All right, did I, yeah, we did everything. Minus one like we were meant to. All right, but, but, we are not going to neglect tuning this. All right, give me a minute. <laughs> something else this is going to be a way too nice of an exhaust for this engine but i don't care because we're trying to make something that a consumer would want and if a consumer wants a quiet car then they're getting a quiet car that doesn't make emissions 
See, this is how the Malaysia happened. Fucking car manufacturers just started listening to what we want. And we all said, yeah, we want boring fucking cars that don't make power. Why? Because we use them to do normal people things like going to work and grabbing groceries and picking up our friends. <laughs> just not gonna worry about oh it's because i de quality spammed of course it's gonna have shit efficiency make it let's make it look smooth see this needs to make look like it was made out of a metal stamping see if it looks like this see this looks like it was milled or cast or some shit this is expensive this, this is a cheap playing done slap piece of sheet metal in the die slam it down boom you're done oh yeah we need to fucking fix these springs and lifters this, this is as good as it's going to get. This is as good as your boy's going to get. 92 horsepower. I'm happy with that. What matters here is this torque. Because we aren't making a fucking car for racers. We're making a car for normal people. And normal people like torque because it gets from point A to point B. Alright, quality spam. All body panels. Let's make this... No, no, because black's hard to maintain. We gotta make it silver with high flake and shine. Like a true modern car, but it's gotta be like a dark kind of silver. There we go! That's a normal car color right there. Hell yeah. In fact, we're gonna name that normal. And we're gonna add this one to our... How do we do that? Let's save that paint globally. We're going to be using that one more in the future. Yeah, you best believe that Lee Iacocca is going to keep making regular cars. <laughs> Hubcaps with our fake lug nuts. Yeah. Fake lug nut hubcap. There we go. Transverse front wheel drive. Like a normal person. And we're going to give it a slush box. Three speeds. Because four speeds is for like a luxury car. And what the hell am I doing? What am I doing? I didn't put a fucking minus one on it. Now the wheels, now these we don't want to cheap out on. Oh, look at this, it looks like a minivan, like it's supposed to. Yay. All right, let's bring these out to the trim, like they ought to be. Yeah, look at that, it looks so good. Holy crap, this is all coming together, folks. Medium compound, because we like having cozy, comfy cars. And then we're gonna have drum brakes, because that's what normal people use. Right? Right? Please tell me. Okay, I'm gonna. I've gotta be real with you guys here. I've gotta be real with you guys here. 
I don't know if this uses drum breaks. I'm not sure if I'm gonna I'm gonna um, stick to tradition. Do these? They had disc breaks? No, you shitting me. Did they have disc breaks? So this is where we're gonna break. From. So this is where we're gonna break from tradition a little bit, and we're just gonna act like this has infinite break airflow, like a fucking Mercedes Gullwing, rather than actually working to tune these brakes. Fucking tuning the brakes in this game is hard. It's hard. I hate brakes. Okay, I hate brakes in this. All right, standard with a cassette tape, like a normal human being. Why didn't it change my settings? I don't care. You know, I don't care. This is just gonna be the way it is. Um, and the hydraulic ball. With we're actually gonna give it ABS because we are responsible adults that want to drive very safely and carefully. And advanced 80s tech. That's the only thing we're not going to scrimp on. In fact, that's where we put all our points. That's where we put all those points. We put it into this one point. Um, and then we're going to have progressive with gas monotube. I, th I think, uh, you know, I don't know much about dampers. I really don't know much about dampers. Um, this could be silly. Now yeah, well, let's give it a normal suspension tune. And there we go. We're mostly done. We just gotta fix the brakes. Um, and let's lower this until we lose drivability. Okay, already. That's pretty disappointing. 35, I don't know why I'm saying that. Oh yeah, 35, here we go. There we go. It's so drivable, look at that drivability. How much did this thing cost? It cost $10,000. That's a steal. $10,000 for this in 1984? Fuck yeah. I would buy this, and then I'd go to McDonald's. In fact, let's go. Let's go. Let's take this to McDonald's with my friends. If I, I would totally, if I had this car in real life, I would take it out and take my friends to Taco Bell. If I had this car in real life, I'd go out and I'd take my friends to karaoke night. This looks like a blast! You could fit everyone inside this. Plus their luggage, too. All right, let's get in BeamNG and show, her how, how, show, show the automation community how to really rip. Here we are in BeamNG. And check it out. There's that McPherson strut suspension. The one that gives us all that cargo space. Now, some of the student of you may have noticed that this has no interior. And I'm gonna have to ask you to use your imagination. Uh, it's probably gonna be a nicer quality interior than the real deal. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so easy to control. It like doesn't wanna turn at all. I can you know, go on the highway and go in a straight line and not worry about it. Go all Jesus take the wheel on it here. Practically drives itself. So many people talk about how like oh their car gets all squirrely and shit when it it's all like oh it's just suspension gets all squirrely when I get too fast. None of you know how to make a car. This thing. It's so smooth. So quiet. So slick and easy to control. Yeah, your supercar? Your supercar you made? Yeah, enjoy every single bump of the road going straight into your spine. Meanwhile, I'm gliding along in the lap of luxury here. Along with seven other friends. Yeah, that's right. I gave this thing eight seats. You could raise an entire family in this thing, and people will. You know what people are gonna raise in your supercar? A sense of regret. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. I don't even want to go at the speed limit. I want to go below the speed limit. This is so, so relaxed. You got so many car enthusiasts, so-called car enthusiasts, claim to love cars and then go fast in them. Like they want to get from point A to point B faster so they can get out of their car. Probably because it's so uncomfortable with that hard-ass suspension. Oh, I could spend all day in this thing. I could stuff my family in here and then hit the road. Go on just a road trip forever until we starve. Oh, what a beautiful experience. It's so effortless. It's just, you don't even think about it. Fuck is a transmission tunnel. I ain't ever heard of that shit. You know what a transmission tunnel is? I sure as fuck don't. Oh yeah, that thing that steals cargo space and legroom. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know exactly what that is. in the McDonald's. Hell yeah.